How do you make sure the tasks assigned during client meetings don't get lost? In this video, I'm gonna show you how. Client meetings are at the heart of many businesses, especially services businesses. And when you have a client meeting, you take a lot of notes, you put things together, and there are assignments for the client to do, and there are assignments for you and your team to do. And sometimes, every now and then, things get lost, deadlines get missed, commitments get missed. But this can all be mitigated by using simple tools that you likely already have. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to manage client meetings using Asana. In Asana, you use it for project management, you use it for task management, and if you wanna learn more about Asana, click up here. I created a video all about it. In this case, we're going to treat a client meeting as if it's a section or a task of itself. In the client's project, I'm going to have a section called client meetings. You should do this first, that way you have a place to organize all those meetings. So you have a meeting with a client and you want to make sure you're tracking everything. The way we handle this is we create an initial task for that meeting. I like to start with the year, then the month, and the day. It just makes things sort a lot nicer. And we have this placeholder. Well, now we're going to track what's happening during the meeting. I'll assign the meeting to myself because I'm running it. When we're talking during a meeting, you want to take notes, but sometimes you don't want to take too many notes because the clicky clacky of taking notes on a computer can be distracting. So you have to balance that out. You can do a combination of things. Uh, I would recommend taking as many notes as you can in the system and mute yourself so that you're not clicking all the time. That's the ideal. Or you could use a combination of notes in the system and handwritten notes that you transcribe later. But the key is to get everything you can captured somewhere. Now, usually what happens is meeting notes get taken and then they get forgotten or they don't get converted into actionable tasks. This is where, as you're going through, you can create additional tasks. So for example, I'm taking notes in the meeting. So I put a commitment in there. We're having a conversation. I committed to giving them this thing called a brand script by the 8th of October. Well, at this point, I need to make sure that that's set up as a follow-up task. It's a commitment that I made and it can't be lost. You can do this during the meeting or you can do this immediately following the meeting, but it has to be set up as a separate discrete task. So what I'll do is I'm going to create a subtask of the meeting. So I create the subtask, commitment, deliver brand script. Now I wanna assign it to myself because this is my commitment that I made. And I need to have the date of that commitment so that when that day arrives, if I haven't delivered it, I can at least communicate to the client and let them know what's going on. So I'm gonna put that for the eighth. But somebody has to create that brand script. So at this point, I have the subtask, which is my commitment as a part of the meeting. Underneath that, I'm actually going to create a task for the person to do the work. So I'm saying update the brand script and share with me in Teams. And I'm gonna make a due date of that sometime before my commitment date. I committed to the eighth. So I really wanna see that several days earlier. So I'm gonna do that and then open that task and assign it to somebody. For the sake of this video, I'll assign it to myself, but I would normally assign that to another person. What have I done here? I'm tracking the meeting. I personally made a commitment to my client and I have a due date for my personal commitment. And then subordinate to that, I've assigned the work associated with that equipment commitment to someone on my team. Things are all organized. And so I'm gonna go back to our client meeting. And you can see I've got my client meeting and then I have my commitment. And then below that I have another subordinate task, which is to have somebody do that work. But there are other things that are gonna come out of that meeting. For example, Often the client owes us something. And so what we want to do is track those things. So I'll go in my client meeting and I'm gonna create another subtask. And maybe we're building a brand new website for this client and then during the call they committed to getting us images. And of course we asked them when can we expect them and they give us a date. So we'll go in and we'll get that and maybe the client said, oh, we'll have those to you by Tuesday. So I'll put Tuesday there to fifth and then I will assign it to myself and I'll do something a little different on this one. I'm going to open it up and I'm gonna apply a tag to it. In Asana, tags are a great way to organize different tasks so you can search for them easier, and they also can fire off events. So if you have some sort of integration with another system, applying a tag can make something else happen in the background. For example, when I apply the client owes us tag in our system, it automatically emails the client, letting them know this. Now, when you do have integrations like that and the client does get emailed, 
make sure you word your client owes us tasks in a client friendly way. Use well thought out language because they are going to see every word you type into that. And we're continuing the dialogue, discussing things with our client, and maybe we have a future decision or discussion item. Or maybe they're going to decide on a future decision. It's, it's not really a client owes us, there's not really a due date, it's probably going to evolve into something else. What we're going to do is put that at some point in the future so that it ends up on the agenda for the next meeting. Let's say we meet once a month, then what I'll do is I'll put this due on the next month. And since I'm responsible for these meetings and I'm running them, I assign it to myself. So now I have a task that is going to come due at the next client meeting and it will be very clear to me that we need to discuss it. So at some point that this can be resolved. Now you have all these things, you've got a foundation. You have commitments that you've made listed with due dates. You have subtasks to those commitments for the people that are contributing and doing the work. You have client commitments in the form of tagging using client owes us. And then lastly, you have future decisions or future discussions due into the future so that you don't miss them. And what's great about all of this is the act of putting all this together underneath a client meeting in a client meeting section of their project in Asana means you can go back to those things. So yes, you can go see the notes that you, of your discussion, but you can also see all the tasks that were generated from them. So it makes it really easy to revisit what came from those meetings. Great, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the client meeting and I'm going to talk through how you would structure the meeting. First one is a simple segue, right, which is a small talk, right? Spend five minutes, hey, how was your week? How was your weekend? Things like that, small talk, segue. Then you look at past tasks. And how do you do that? Well, the great thing is it's all in Asana. So while I'm running this meeting, I can say, from our last meeting, we committed to having the brand script to you on the 8th. That was, that was finished and completed. You said you'd have images to us by the 5th. We do have those images. Thank you. That's all completed. And we agreed that we would discuss the color palette for your brand. We can have that discussion right now if you'd like. And then ask them what their agenda items are. And then we process everything. And the last thing we do at the end of the meeting is we close and review the commitments we have. Organization, structure, using tools is the way that you run a client meeting and make sure nothing falls through the cracks or get lost. You never want to miss a deadline. After all, you need to do what you say you're going to do. Integrity is paramount to all work that people do. And you want to be great communicators. We need to communicate well with each other. Tools are the way we can do that and make sure nothing is missed. I hope you found this useful. I make videos like this all the time. Sometimes they are on project management, other times they're on personal development and marketing. I'd appreciate a like, and if you really want to see more, give me a subscribe. If you do things differently, if you're able to manage meetings in tools in a way that things don't fall through cracks and it's completely different than what I've shown, I'd love to hear about it. Put it in the comments below. I appreciate your time today, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.